In this video, I will show you how to install FPS Boost component for existing project. For demonstration, I use AI Behavior Toolkit, which is available on Marketplace. It uses Behavior Tree for NPC movement, but keep in mind that the component works with Basic Move 2 Function 2. This project uses Inheritance, so I'll adjust Base class, and we won't need to add the component into every child class separately. Let's find the component and add it to the master class. Just select and add it. The component has dispatchers, which can have different logic. We need this too. I don't know what you use in your NPC class, so I couldn't add everything. That is why we need dispatchers. I'll choose set actor hidden in game to hide that parts which are not hidden by the component. When NPC is outside of visibility zone, it does not have skeletal mesh. But if you attach any actors to the capsule, they are still visible. As I said, neither components nor me know about what do you have in your NPC class. It could be anything. If it weapon skeletal meshes or static meshes attached to the character skeletal mesh, they will be invisible. So, use dispatchers to hide your class components which attached to capsule. The component detects and hides only parts which attached to skeleton. Then we detect NPC death and call dispatcher, which disables the component. If NPC is dead, we don't need the component anymore. Usually new NPC spawn happens, so this class will be deleted. Now I'll disable it to check if everything works. I'll enable FPS display. So you can see that component works. But also, you can see that NPC doesn't move and fly. This is because authors attached it to animation with anim notify. Of course, if you can avoid this, you should. Programmers code, animators make animations. Animation is visual component, which should not affect the game. But this is not a problem. You can enable animation forcefully. I'll find Dispatcher, Attacking Start. This way, I enable animation, so if animation not needed anymore, it will stop.
Now everything works. But because of current battle, which we can't see and which has enabled animations, FPS is lower than it could be, approximately by 20%. As you can see, the battle happens in its own micro-world. Battle is over, the red ones had won. Now I show you that the logic works independently of the component. We will just wait for the end of the battle. I guess this is enough. The Reds have won again. And that's it. Now I'll show you a quick recap of what I said before. I launched the scene without dispatches, but with animation. You can see that the component detects and hides weapon as well as the skeleton itself. But now I'll add simple cube to the class, which attach to the default capsule. In your case it might be something different. I'll disable collisions to avoid errors. So, let's check. As we can see, if dispatchers have set actor hidden in game node, it also hide the cube. And if we disable it, the cube's still visible, but skeleton and weapon are not.
That's it. I don't think that it can cause any difficulties for you. You can adjust the component as you like and extend the logic. Good luck!